guys. <laughs> I've dragged poor Corporal out to the arena. It is still very hot. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at that blue sky. The sun is still out. It's just coming up to 20 to 8 in the evening. Cooper's looking less than impressed. I've made him come out. I think it's still about 27 degrees. It's really hot still, but I've kind of put off riding as long as I can. Anyway, you're listening from the thumbnail today that I am going to show you some exercises and just things to think about to help you ride your test a little bit more accurate because it's amazing how much those tiny little things can help. You're puffing away there, mister. Um, can help just gain you those few extra marks that make all the difference. Sorry, it's such a lot. I think, I honestly think he's doing it. There's a really lovely barbecue aroma going around. So obviously everyone's having barbecues and it just smells amazing. <laughs> I feel like he's breathing it all in. as I like, the air is just filled. It's like barbecues and endless tractors. That's what's going on at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to get on and show you some of my exercises, but you might be able to guess just looking over there. We're starting with corners. Riding your corners is one of those basic exercises that we all tend to neglect from time to time, but actually makes a huge difference when it comes to riding your test. Now, using your corners properly, most of all, is going to give you that little bit of extra time to prepare for the next movement in your test, giving you that chance to be that little bit more accurate. It's also the perfect place to give your horse a little half halt, set them back up on their hindquarters, get them to wait, listening more off your aid, helping you to produce maybe the perfect circle, perfect turn across the diagonal and the judges will notice if you're using your corners so at home it's very easy you just set up some poles or use the arena i tend to like to use poles so the horses don't lean on the arena fence and simply work on making sure that you go in and out of them with ease not losing their balance it's also a good way to see how supple your horse is in the walk and trot my horse was fine but actually in canter it was quite obvious that he lacked suppleness and he looked a little bit stiff coming through it Training marker to marker isn't necessarily an exercise, but it is something to be aware of when you're working at home with your horse. And I am particularly bad for this in that I just put transitions in wherever I fancy and don't ride to the marker. And then that doesn't help me when it comes to shows. So it's important that we learn to train to marker to marker so that we can be that bit more precise with our horses. We can be more accurate and we can make sure that when we come to that marker that we get that good, clean, crisp transition. Looking up and ahead isn't a schooling exercise. However, it is something that we should all remember to do. Riders are notoriously bad for looking down at their hands when schooling. And this leads to messy turns and being a lot less accurate in your test. So it's important to remember to keep your chin up, looking up and ahead, roll your shoulders back. And this is going to help you be far more precise, more accurate, and also going to give a lot better impression in front of the judge. Maintaining a good rhythm throughout your test is vital. This is going to help you produce better movements, better turns, better transitions, and that equals better scores and allows you to be more accurate. If your horse is chopping and changing all the time, then accuracy becomes harder. Thinking about your transitions within the movements and within the pace is really important, especially from about elementary level upwards in dressage, then you'll find that you might have collected trot into a working trot or medium trot back into collected trot and the same for the canter work. Being more accurate means showing the difference between these two. And for that, the judges will reward you well and your scores will go up. So it's really important when you're training at home to make sure that your horse can go into maybe a medium trot back to a collected trot with a beautiful, smooth transition in between. You can see while I was training, I was working from going to a working trot back to a collected
to trot and a couple of times you can see my horse lost balance so I need to keep training on this. Practicing the test movements before a test is a fairly obvious thing to do. However, I'm one for taking little parts of the test and just practicing that rather than running through the whole test because typically horses generally learn the test quite quickly and then when it comes to actual show day, they start anticipating and get you into a whole lot of trouble. So it's good to practice just individual movements of the test beforehand, helping you to be that bit more accurate on the day. I think can really help you get those few extra marks on accuracy is buying the dressage diagram sheets and you can see with this one here that way you know exactly how the movement's meant to be ridden the size that is expected and it just means that you can ride the test as accurate as possible and exactly what the judge is looking for. I have every test in diagram form that way I know that I can I understand exactly how each movement needs to be ridden. Test visualisation is not only super important to helping you learn to remember the test, but it also gives you another chance to run through it in your mind, working out exactly where you want to set up, where you want to turn, how you want to ride each movement, allowing you to be more accurate on the day of competing. I also think it's really helpful to learn your tests off by heart rather than having them read. That way you can stay focused on what you're doing and not having to listen to someone else. Finally, a very simple one, stay positive and relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the more relaxed your horse will be and then the more easy and smooth your test will run, helping you to produce a much more accurate and precise test, allowing you to hopefully get some great scores.